Hey everyone. So I'm back from Las Vegas and I'm exhausted. <laughs> I went to Vegas for a week and I feel like I need a vacation from the vacation. Um, I put up a video yesterday that showed all the pictures that I took while I was on vacation and um, so today is going to be part of what I bought in Las Vegas, Las Vegas Hall Part 1, the makeup. And then um, I'll show you what I bought for clothes the next day. Uh, because otherwise the video would be way, way too long. So let's get started. Um, I tried to make purchases in Las Vegas of things that I wouldn't normally be able to get at home that made the most sense to me. I sometimes see people go to Las Vegas and then I see what they buy and it's like, but yeah, you could have got that <laughs> at home, so why not buy things that you can't get where you live? Now, I live in a small city in Massachusetts and I do not have access to things that I had access to in Las Vegas. Um, I have Sephora where I live, but the Sephora's that I have access to are so small that really they don't carry a lot of the brands that you can get at the larger Sephora's in big cities. So that was one of the places I went. I also went to an ABC store which is a chain of stores that is in mainly Hawaii. That's where they started off and they also have a bunch of stores in Las Vegas. So I went there and got some things, and I went to Mac and got some things. I went to Inglot and got some things, and I think that's it. Yeah, yeah, I just went to those, those four places. Uh, before I get started on the makeup, I just want to show you something cute that I picked up um, at the ABC chain. And it's just like a little, you could put pretty much anything you wanted to in here. You could use this as a makeup bag, a change purse, a wallet, whatever um, you wanted to. But it just says Las Vegas and then it has like an artist rendering of what Vegas looks like. So I thought that was really cute. So since I started with that, because I think I got that... Where did I get that? Oh, no, I got that at um, Walgreens in Las Vegas. They have a lot of touristy things at the Walgreens in Las Vegas. So, but let me start with the ABC stores uh, stuff that I got. I have bought Island Girl nail polish in Las Vegas previously, and I found out that the color-changing nail polish is definitely not worth buying because it doesn't go on well. But I picked up a bottle of their regular polish one time and I really liked it. Now it doesn't last. Um, as a matter of fact, nothing lasts on my nails even if I do a top coat or whatever. So, um, but it doesn't matter to me because I do change my polish every day. So if you're looking for a polish that lasts, this isn't it. But does come in really pretty colors and goes on easily. So I got a lot I got a lot of that. So let me show you what I got. This so this is all Island Girl nail polish and uh, I think it's like three four four dollars a bottle I believe. Um, so here's what I got. I got Hawaiian Luau which is like a metallic sage green. I got Hawaiian Volcano. This one went on very sheer for some reason, and their polishes don't normally go on sheer. I actually have it on today as a base. I've got two coats of that, and then I've got another polish of another brand from another store on top of it. So I've got two coats of this on underneath what you can see, because it was the same color family. This is Island Lay. It's sort of a plummy purple color. This is Diamond Head Breeze, which is sort of a cross between blue and purple, I would say. And the next one is Waikiki Surf, 
and this is kind of a bright green, uh, a bright aqua, I'll say. And this is Hula Festival. This is a bright pink. And Hawaiian Heat. This is kind of a bubblegum girly type pink. Barbie pink, we'll say. Kona Coast. This is a pale pink. And I wanted to try their top coat, which is called Diamond Shield and... <laughs> not worth buying. It did not did not protect my nails. I went out to Vegas with a base coat, two coats of polish, and a top coat. And within a couple days it was all chipped. So I guess for me it's better to just change my polish every day and take pictures for the nail polish videos, nail polish project videos because it doesn't last on me anyway and it doesn't make any difference what I use nail polish just does not stay on me I think I'm doing a lot of things I'm busy around the house all day and um, I do wear rubber gloves though when I'm handling chemicals or doing doing dishes or doing general household items but nail polish just doesn't last so so it doesn't matter to me whether this polish chips or not because I'm not going to wear it more than a day anyway. But I love their color selection and they did have different colors at different stores because I bought a bunch of them at one ABC store. Then I was in another one and I was looking and I was like, wait a minute, I don't remember seeing these colors at the other store I was in. So I picked up a few more. So every location has a different selection of colors, which is nice. And then I also tried one of their eyeshadow palettes. And this is called Surfing Safari. It's part of the new, new Wave eyeshadow palettes. And sadly, this is a regret because this has absolutely no pigmentation whatsoever, even with a base under it. But I thought the colors were really pretty and um, so this was a disappointment so I would say steer clear of the eyeshadows because they're just they're just not worth it you can pack it on all you want and it's not going to show up uh, but I do really enjoy those nail polishes so that's what I got at in at the ABC stores and next up I'll show you oh I don't know let's go to Mac next Again, where I live, I do not have access to MAC eyeshadows in pan or palette form because I live in a small city. So all I have is like a local MAC counter at a couple different places. So I didn't really have any more pro items that I wanted that were, you know, special pro items. So I used this opportunity to get three eyeshadows in palette or pan form. One of them I am wearing um, today. I have on uh, MAC Paint Pot in Pure Creation from the Posh Paradise collection as a base and then over it I put one of the ones that I just got. It's called Moon's Reflection and it's just a really pretty blue. I already popped it in my palette here. I also got I took, I took this palette with me to Vegas and I put two shadows in it and I left two of the slots empty so that I could make up a quad with some shadows that I already had. Okay, this one here is girly. I use that as a crease color. And then this one over here is CD Pearl. And then these two I already had, but I wanted to make up a quad with these colors. So that's what I got from MAC. I just got three eyeshadows in pan form. I was very good. <laughs> I didn't go crazy. And uh, so what's left? Sephora and Inglot. Let's go to Sephora next. Same deal with Sephora. Where I live I have tiny tiny little Sephoras that don't carry hardly any brands at all. 
the Sephoras that are out in Vegas are enormous. They just go on and on for miles. Um, they have so many brands of things to choose from. It's wonderful. So I went with a list. First I went to the Sephora at the Miracle Mile shops at Planet Hollywood. And I got... One of the things I got was um, Bite Lipsticks. And I was going to just pick out one color. And then I saw that they had this nice little kit thing that had five minis in it. And I thought, oh, what a great way to try out a bunch of different colors. I am wearing one of the colors today, and the color is called Bouquet. And that's what it looks like. And um, there is a lot to say about these lipsticks. So I'm going to do a separate video. I'm going to show you all the video, I'm going to show you all the lipsticks tell you all about them, why these are special and different and worth seeking out. But there's five different colors, and yeah, stay tuned for that video, and I'll, I'll swatch them and everything then. But this was, um, this was $25 for five mini lipsticks, which I thought was a, a really good deal. And um, yeah, I'll tell you all about these in a in a separate video. Um, I gotta stop the camera for a minute because I'm in the middle of doing something else. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. Um, I'm trying to make dinner and shoot this video at the same time because I am so backed up on laundry and all that kind of stuff that um, it's been taking me a while to get used to being back again trying to get caught up doing some things so I don't normally shoot videos this late in the day but I kinda had to so anyways okay where was I Sephora so I showed you the lipsticks that I got and also at the Sephora at Miracle Mile Mall I got <clears throat> a couple bottles of Nails Ink nail polish now if you live in the UK then you already know about these but here in the United States we never had access to these before so Sephora started carrying them well I should say select Sephora's and um, I knew that I wasn't going to be able to get these at any of the Sephora's where I live so I got a couple bottles of this and I have one of them on as a top coat it's called Fitzroy Square and it's basically a turquoise glitter I would say and it says on here um, 3D glitter so <laughs> I don't know maybe I should go get my 3D glasses and look at it under a bright light and see how it looks but you know that sounds kind of like gimmicky to me but I just thought it was pretty and I also got Electric Lane Holographic Glitter Top Coat which I have not tried this yet but um, this should be interesting as well so I just painted my nails uh, before starting this video so I don't really have anything to say yet about this very chunky glitter polish um, yeah I decided to go with uh, the two glitter ones because I have so many regular polishes that I figured let's go for the special effects stuff <laughs> so what else did I get at Sephora I got um oh so then there was another item that i wanted they didn't have it at that sephora but they did have it at the sephora at the venetian so once we were over in that area i got dr jart water fuse bb beauty bomb which looks like this and a very short story behind this um as you know, I had been experimenting with BB creams and really enjoyed them very much. Well, I had find out, found out that Las Vegas has a Chinatown section, and I fully intended to go there because I found out that there was a Korean cosmetics store there, and I was going to buy some Korean BB creams. And then, as it turned out, there was um, no way for us to get over there. There was supposedly some kind of a shuttle thing, 
but I couldn't get any information about it from the hotel or anything and when you called this shopping plaza all you got was a recording so you couldn't talk to any live people and we didn't want to take a taxi over there because yeah we could take a taxi from the hotel but then I was afraid we wouldn't be able to get back that there wouldn't be any taxis at the shopping plaza that were available to bring us back to our hotel so I didn't end up going to Chinatown but this uh, BB cream is available at Sephora well select Sephora's again and I have been using I used it all week on vacation and um, again I think I'll probably just do a separate video product review on this but I'm wearing it today and yeah it's Dr. Jart Water Fuse BB Beauty Balm and it is made in Korea so uh, I'll tell you more about that in another video because again I don't want this to be too too long and last but certainly not least I went to Inglot now I've been to Vegas many times before and bypassed the Inglot store because at that time I had never heard of it but then as soon as I got back from my last trip to Vegas YouTube exploded with people talking about Inglot and I was like oh I missed out because in the United States we only have we have very few Inglot stores. Um, we have, there's the one in Vegas, there's one or two in New York City, which I live nowhere near that. Um, I think they have a couple maybe in Los Angeles, maybe one in Chicago, but very, very few Inglots. So, I went there, and you might remember that my friend June had sent me a palette with Inglot shadows um, that hold four and where is that this is the one the one that she had sent me had um two purples a gold and a highlight color so i been really drawn to purples and pinks lately so i decided to take that theme and run with it because i don't know that's just what i decided to do so I bought an empty palette and I got got them all on the table in front of me here. I got pearl number four four five and I'm sorry I haven't um, taken them out of the packages yet but if you want to I'll do a separate video where I'll um, swatch them all or whatever and this is mat number 386 looks like that and AMC number 80 no AMC number 66 AMC Shine number 22. So I got those four purples and then later in the week I said to myself, I'm going to go back and get four more because I don't have access to Inglot. So as it turns out, I'm so glad I did. Because when I went back the second time I got to meet the store manager and he was really, really nice, very helpful. Um, we talked a little bit about uh, YouTube and stuff and um, so I asked him when you order from Inglot like online what is the method of shipment because I couldn't find that information on their website and he said it's FedEx so I thought oh great you know I can I can order online if I want more shadows so I came home and I checked and I read all the information on the website and sure enough it didn't say you know what he had told me so I was really glad that I had asked but there's one problem it says on the website that Inglot will not ship to any address other than the one that is the billing address on your credit card well I have a problem with that because FedEx ships to your house my billing address on my credit card is my mailing address which is not the same as my physical address so 
therefore I cannot order Ingla online. And when you hear me say, uh, talk about ordering, not being able to order things online, that's what I'm talking about. Because a lot of times I'll say something and I'm like, oh, I can't get that. And then one of you will leave a comment and say, oh, but you can get that at suchandsuch.com. Well, no, I can't. <laughs> because I have a problem with having things sent to my house. It's, it's a nightmare, I'll tell you. Um, but we don't have mailboxes where I live, so that's that. So, um, yeah, so, sorry, I started rambling there. So I went back to Inglot, and I got another palette, another empty palette that holds four eyeshadows, and I got four more. And this time I went for, like, pink, pink category, we'll call it. And here's what I got. I got... This is Pearl 440, and I decided to go this route because pinks and purples look really nice together, so I figured I could kind of make a lot of different looks by mixing the pinks and purples together. This is AMC Shine number 48, and this is more like sort of a mauve mauve color, a deeper one. The next one is DS487, and a lot of these may look similar to each other, but they they have like lots of different formulas at Inglot. They have, you know, just like they do at MAC, same thing. This is Pearl 399. <laughs> I could see Thomas lurking around here. And then um, he also threw in three samples of the Ingla Under Makeup Base, which I have not tried yet. So, oh, I just heard a car door slam. My husband's home from work, so I'm going to shut off the camera for a second again, and I'll be right back. Okay, so that's what I got, and let me just go over with you then what I'm wearing today. My shirt is from is Marona from Target. My necklace is from Old Navy. I've got on a wide assortment of silver bangles from all different stores. This ring is from Aldo. My watch is Style & Company from Macy's. And for products today, I am wearing the Dr. Jart Water Fuse BB Beauty Balm. And then over that, because I do not do not have perfect skin, so I need a little bit more coverage than that, I have on MAC Studio Fix Powder. My blush is MAC Dame. And like I said before, I have on MAC Pure Creation Paint Pot as an eyeshadow base. MAC Moon's Reflection Eyeshadow. My eyeliner is MAC Earthline Technical Liner, and if you have blonde hair, blue eyes, fair skin, this is ideal as an eyeliner because black and dark brown just look too harsh on me. So this is a cross between um, gray and brown. So this is perfect for people with fair complexions or whatever. MAC Zoom Lash Mascara. Revlon Color Stay Brow Enhancer, Revlon Color Stay Lip Liner in clear, and um, let's see, I showed you the lipstick that I was wearing. That was um, Bouquet by Bite, and then over that I put Bare Minerals Lip Gloss in Cupcake, and my fragrance today is Escada Marine Groove. And that is it for my Las Vegas haul, the makeup portion, and I will film what I bought for clothes um, the next day, or tomorrow, whatever. <laughs> Bye.